Okay, here we have a Hoover drum in its housing from a washing machine. Uh, the bearings have collapsed, rusted away because the seal broke and uh, the bearings have well, most of them have fallen out as you will see. As you can see closer inspection you can see the rust residue from where the water had uh, penetrated through the bearings. There's supposed to be all bearings inside here in, with the seal, it's all gone. The only thing remaining is the uh, race. Now this is a sealed drum housing. It's glued together. Uh, this fixing clip on the top here. I think they use it to hold the drum in place while it's being glued in the factory. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to uh, cut the drum housing apart to access the uh, actual stainless steel drum itself. There's a seam running down the side. I'm gonna use this electric saw with a short blade to uh, cut through the drum. along the seam, taking care not to make the blade come in contact with the stainless steel drum. And now that it's uh, cut all the way around, separate the units. to access the stainless steel drum. Obviously this is not going to come straight out because the remnants of the bearings are still attached so I'm going to knock it out with a, a hammer using a wooden shaft not to damage the uh, spindle which the pulley attaches to. And there you have the drum separate. This is a picture of the remnants of the bearings. Now, the old bearing race are still attached. Uh, I need to knock these out in order to install the new ones. Here I'm knocking out the inner bearings race. All that's at the bottom. I'll use this to refit the new bearing. I've placed the drum housing on top of a bucket. Uh, I'm going to knock the outer bearing race out this time. As you can see, there's the remnants of the race bearings in the bottom of the bucket. Now, all I need to do now install the new bearings. Okay. I'm, I'm using the old race bearings to fit the new bearings in place. This will avoid damaging the bearings seal. As on the inner side 
the bearings sit slightly lower. And that's the flush, they sit slightly lower to accommodate the sillon. fit the outer bearings. This one will sit in flush. I'll just put a bit of grease around the outside just to help it slide in a bit. I'm just going to tap that in slowly. Take care not to damage the bearings outer seal. Now I'm going to clean the drums shaft before I install it. Let's get rid of the rust. And I've, as you can see I've fitted the water seal or weather seal. That ring inside. That's the seal there. it's just above the inner bearings. Now uh, I've aligned the drum cover, outer cover and I've got to drill a few holes around the side. I'm going to put some nuts and bolts to hold it together as well as gluing it. Just going to make sure it's all lined up square and then drill about probably about 15 holes around the side to accommodate the nuts and bolts which we're going to use. Give you a little closer look. glue to the uh, drum housing obviously I've put the place the drum inside I'm gonna apply glue around where I've cut the unit apart because I'm gonna re-glue it back together as well as bolt it apply the cover back on. I'm gonna glue that side, the inside of the cover also. You can pick these nuts and bolts up from your local DIY stores. Probably about one inch in length. screws through. Once you've drilled your holes, three drilled holes, and then attach the nut on the bottom, tighten it up. And I'll just leave a day or so to dry. Come back the next day. And as you can see the glue's dried now. 
uh, should give a good seal, shouldn't leak. I'll block the drainage hole as I do a water test and uh, just fill it with water as much as you can. Block the drainage hole at the bottom and just spin it around a few times to see if there's any leaks. Shouldn't be. But it's best to test it at this stage. Now I'm going to put the assemble the unit back together. Voila, uh, the unit's completely assembled, popped it outside, just to test for leaks. And as you can see, it seems to be running fine. And that was a full wash cycle and as you can see no leaks. <laughs>